welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to have the quinceanera of your dreams. So I had mine about, no not about a week ago, but I had it on August 31st, 2014 and I can honestly say it is going to be an amazing day for you because it was for me. This is a day celebrated just for you. I am just going to be talking to you about my whole process, my experience, tips, advice, what I think are the most important aspects of planning a quinceanera. So this is for those of you girls who have not been able to find an actual um, helpful planning video from the actual quinceanera herself. So I stayed up all last night writing notes on this notebook to share with you guys my whole experience. Hopefully it's not too long but hopefully as well you get some ideas from it and just more information. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and start off with the basics on what is a quinceanera. It's a Hispanic tradition and celebration of a girl coming of age, which is 15. Your parents will expect you to be mature, be responsible, surround yourself with good people, and with good things. It usually consists of a mass and a reception. The quinceanera refers to the actual girl turning 15 as well as to the party. So coming from someone like me who likes everything to go her way in order for things to be perfect, you can tell that I was really involved in mine and I really enjoyed being part of it because you get more out of the experience, which hopefully you do too because it's a big moment. It's, it's probably going to be one of the best days of your life. So you probably want to be as involved as you can and just make it more memorable. They usually take up to a year, maybe two years of planning. Mine was short notice. Um, we planned it in about six months. So as you can tell, it was really hectic, but we made it possible and everything turned out all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with what I think is most important in planning a quinceanera. So the first thing is budget. Obviously money is an important factor. It is a very costly party. It's going to be a lot of money. You're going to have to decide from your wants and your needs. So I strongly recommend sitting down with your family at the dinner table and just talking about everything that you want to incorporate in your party. So when considering your budget, you have to think about the location you want it at. So will you want it at a salon, a ballroom, a hotel, a restaurant, even your own backyard or someone else's? You can make a really nice party in your backyard. If you have a big one, if you have a little cement floor, you can make that your dance floor. You can bring in people to decorate the place. You can really make it your own and you can save a lot of money. You also have to make a guest list. You have to consider how many people are coming to my party. The bigger it is, obviously the more it's gonna be, the more food, the more drinks, everything more you're going to need. Also be aware that more more people will probably be coming than you think or that you invited. People tend to bring like a friend or they might bring their boyfriend, their girlfriend and it just adds up a lot quicker. Also the date you want to have your 15 on. Usually at most locations Saturdays are more expensive because it is such a wanted day. You can also make it a day where the next day it's a holiday which is what I did. I had it on a Sunday and the next day was Labor Day so a lot of people didn't work so that ended up working out for me. The next thing is the location of your quince. You want to make sure this place accommodates the guests desired. Also, the availability of your date. So if you fall in love with the place um, and they don't even have your date available, you might be really bummed out. So definitely make sure your date is available. Another thing to consider is if they offer group packages, which is basically when you get a lot of things in one package and you save money because of the amount you're buying. So a group package can include a decoration of the salon, um, tablecloths, you can pick out the color, lights, food, security, dates, silverware, and beverages. Make sure it has a place for anything you want to incorporate in your party. Make sure there's a place for them to put all their equipment and be able to do their job. If you want a smoke machine, a bubble machine, ask the owner to make sure you can use them because a lot of places don't let you since their alarms will go off. Now we are getting into the fun stuff which is picking out your dress and your theme. You want a dress that will flatter you, that you look good in, that you love, and also that makes you stand out. This is your once in a lifetime opportunity to wear a poofy ball gown type of dress. It just could go with your theme or vice versa. Let's say your dress has flower appliques, then you might want to go with a flower theme, which is pretty much what I did. I didn't really have a super specific theme. It was just more 
um, like simple and elegant. It was just the color of my dress I incorporated in the decorations and the centerpieces and also flowers. Theme ideas are Paris, Candyland if you have a sweet tooth, a favorite decade, superhero, glitter and glitz, cowgirl, and then from there you can pick your accessories like your necklace, your earrings, your rings, your heels, and also some flats just in case you get tired throughout the party. Now we are going to be talking about the crown and the bouquet. Do you want a crown like this one, which is your classic one with crystals all over it that makes you feel like a princess? Or do you want one of these that wrap around your head? And these are super in right now and they're pretty cute. The only thing I would say about your crown is to make sure it's not super overly exaggerated and big because then that might be the only thing your guests will be looking at. And as for the bouquet, um, I personally think it should be either lighter or darker than your dress so that it stands out. You can also obviously use natural flowers, but I have this one and it lasts forever. <laughs> the next thing you'll have to think about is your limo and your music. So for music, will you want a mariachi? Will you want a group to perform? Will you want a dancing group to perform? Will you want... I mean, the possibilities are endless. Anything you like, you can probably incorporate into your party, but you have to also remember that everyone must have a certain specific time they'll be able to play at because if you have way too many things, then there won't be time for everything. A limo ride is not necessary. It is another cost, but it's also really fun. I had one and we went to the mall before the reception. So they took us to the mall. We spent about an hour there and then they took us to the reception and then my party was about to start in a few uh, in a few minutes if you know somebody that has a cool car that will let you borrow it use it and it'll just be a really cool entrance to your party and you can just bring some friends along or just any car really you can go anywhere turn the music up and have a good time on the way there the next thing we're going to be talking about is video and photography i cannot express enough how important this is because you have to consider that this is going to be one of the few uh, memories you'll have of your party so this is the only thing that will actually capture the whole entire moment and you want somebody who's who has high quality equipment who's experienced who has good cameras that offers you more than just your typical photographer they'll usually come with extra cameras which means you'll have different angles of your party CD that they usually give you is around two to three hours they might offer it to you in blu-ray which is the more modernized thing they might even include a highlight video in your package which are really cool I got a highlight video basically what it is it is a little recap of your whole entire party in a short video around three to five minutes long. I'll link mine below um, down in the description box. The clips you saw in the beginning were from my highlight video. Next thing is cake. So how do you want it? Do you want a traditional cake like this one? which is what I had. It has these circle cakes on these little columns stacked up and there's a little fountain. One of the more exciting parts of a quinceanera, it is practices. So this consists of your court of honor. They'll be dancing these dances with you. You can either have damas and chambelanes, which you can think of them as your bridesmaids and your groomsmen, but instead of, you know, like a wedding, it's just girls and boys that are by your side throughout the whole party, dancing with you and just having a good time with. You can have either just all girls, all guys, or both. I personally had an all chambelan court of honor it was a lot easier than having both because you have to consider that they'll have to pay for their own tuxes, their own dresses, and you also have to make sure everyone can make it. This is really hard to have everyone at one practice that rarely happen because someone usually ended up having to do something else or they didn't have a ride. So make sure to check with them to have a set time on when practices will be. There are usually two dances, the vals and the surprise dance. So the vals is, is a more elegant dance. They probably include a more traditional song that is quinceanera oriented that you've probably heard many times before. And then the surprise dance. And you also keep in mind that this is probably another change of clothes that means more money for who's ever in your court of honor. So make sure that when asking them to be in your court of honor that they know that they can pay for these things. Surprise dance is more uplifting, more upbeat. They get your guests more pumped up for the party. Practices will usually be once a week, about an hour to two hours every week. And make sure you have snacks. We teenagers get hungry and 
probably who's ever in your court of honor will get hungry and might want a snack and also a drink like water cokes whatever you have you can have a choreographer um help you teach you a dance or you can just go on youtube and use your creativity it's what i did and they turn out perfectly fine i was in love with all my dances one last thing is to make sure everyone in your court of honor is a dedicated person you don't want to have um people who don't get along with each other because this causes drama you want people who get along together and care about you and are doing this for you small things to consider is will you want a chocolate fountain these are just simple things that might end up coming up later on so will you want a chocolate fountain do you want a dessert table will you need salt shakers this is random but maybe your location doesn't offer um salt which is what happened with mine we had to buy separate little salt shakers and we filled them up with salt and put them on the tables so will you serve alcoholic beverages at your party for the adults because you have to remember that there will be a lot and some people do like to drink another cost is cokes and water so you might want to buy a few packs every week and also small cake plates and forks for the cake my memory card totally just got full so i had to switch to another one so I can tell that I've been talking a lot but I really want to make this video as helpful as can be and as easy as can be because a 15 minute video describing what a one year two year process can take I think that's worth it and keep so, moving along to some of the bigger details this is going to be your centerpieces so you want them to go with any theme you chose are expensive you can have someone make them for you or you can do them on your own which is what I did I've always been a pretty crafty person in my opinion and I searched up on YouTube how to make some centerpieces basically what I did is I took a styrofoam ball and I covered it with flowers and made these little flower balls and you can just take a glass base and just put it on top and then you can fill this with anything you'd like 30 minutes each to make and I made around 50 to 60 so that did take quite a while but I think it was worth it. Another thing I made was the bottle with the I had sparkling cider I think it was apple I don't know it was a fruit flavor from Snapple um, and I decorated that as well. Any of these things you can buy from someone that will make them for you or again you can make them on your own they're not that hard to make. The thing that I couldn't make though was the little stand where you put all the cups and the um, bottle so that one was purchased and I'll insert a clip to show you how it looked it was really pretty it was lace and sparkly we also purchased the last doll which is the ultima muñeca and I'm not a big fan of dolls I think they're kind of creepy but I did think that it matched really well with um, my dress and my curly hair so we got it and we used it more as a decorative piece rather than an actual dance with it because there is a dance for the last doll which is supposedly like the last doll your dad gives you since you're becoming a woman. For the invitations, um, you want to mail them out at least one month before your party to make sure it gets to everyone on time and to make sure everyone makes time for it. Also, since they can get expensive, make some high-end ones for family and then make not so high-end ones for your friends because usually they'll end up misplacing them or just throwing them away. Now it's getting closer to your 15. So about a month before is when you'll probably have your little photo shoot with your photographer and this is when you get to pick out your big main picture that goes in the entrance. You want to pick one that you really like because it's probably going to be hanging in your house forever. Also, makeup trial. Makeup is important. You want to look good in your picture so it's okay if you have to cake it on so it'll look really good in there. And also make sure you have practices at the place of your 15 to make sure everyone knows where to be, where to go, um, things like that. A few days before, you want to call all your caterers, all the people that you are working with to make sure everything is going um, on time, make it a smoother day for you, and have everything ready, set to go on that day. Now, the day of your 15. Definitely enjoy it. It's a once in a lifetime type of thing. If something goes wrong, don't let that affect you the rest of the day because it's not going to be pretty. Smile, you are probably going to be taped from when you're getting ready till the end of the day. Relax and get excited because, I mean, it's your party. Maintain good posture, be polite and welcoming to all your guests. Even if you don't know them, that's probably gonna happen, but you just have to be nice and just say, oh, hey. Lastly, <laughs> have a good time. It's your day. Your parents made this day possible for you. Everyone probably pitched in to help you make this day perfect. So that concludes how to plan 
your perfect quinceanera. If you would like me to go into detail on any of these topics, let me know. I can make do-it-yourself videos on all of the things that I did for mine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long, but hopefully you got some information. Make this process, this whole planning process easier on you and your family. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!